Hey, hey, you guys, it's Christina from the Purple Alphabet and we're doing another holiday gift guide, which is the best time on the Purple Alphabet because I have lots of opportunities for giveaways and lots of ideas to put on your wish list for your kids. Today's video is sponsored by Hand to Mind, Educational Insights and Learning Resources. And with those three names, you gotta know this is gonna be a good one. Let's get started. Tracy the Fidget Triceratops, try saying that three times fast because it's, it is not easy, is a great toy with lots of different fidgets on it and a dinosaur. For ages 18 months and up, I have found the cutest little fidget Triceratops I have ever seen. It's Tracy the Triceratops. Tracy has a little bit of fidgeting on every side of her. So we have the bottom feet here, which make noises as they turn. Different colors too, so you can talk about colors. So you can twist those, and there's a nice little like texture on them. On the side over here, we have another knob to turn. And there's even a little divot in there they can put their little finger in and spin it around. We have this right here that spins. On the top, there is another blue spinner. This side has a purple button to push. And we have another green knob that makes a noise and that makes for 10 different fidgets oh in the back too on the very back right above the tail we have a little lever to push up and down series number of blocks on a TV. Your kids might actually watch it. It is called the Step Squad Mission Headquarters. Super adorable, lots of fun. Let's check it out. From hand to mind, number blocks, Step Squad Mission Headquarters is for ages three and up. There are 15 pieces in here. And this play set opens to over 25 inches wide. So you get the folding playset, you get the number block that's the three figure, so it's made out of three ones. You get the detachable slide that goes right onto the top of the number steps. You get a rotating table, five chairs to go with that rotating table in different colors. You get five agent accessories, which are the disguises, a headset, binoculars, magnifying glass, and a briefcase. The sticker sheet that comes with it, you can use to decorate your number steps and a getting started guide. So this is the Step Squad Mission Headquarters, so you can pick your perfect agent accessory. You can take the elevator up to the lookout point, and you can even zoom down the slide. Lots of things that move and turn on here. You can look inside some of the cabinets and see what might be behind the doors. You can sit at the table and turn that over, and with all the stickers, you can decorate this however you wish. The Step Squad Mission Headquarters is based off the TV series Number Blocks, so you can work on a number adventures and practice counting, sequencing, and more, and create your secret missions to earn your own special Step Squad badge. STEM gifts are amazing. This is from Learning Resources. It's called Space Rover, and it's a deluxe coding discovery set. Definitely gonna be on a wish list this year. Learning Resources Space Rover set is for ages four and up. It's a deluxe coding activity set. I love these things. There's 51 pieces in here, and it's actually screen-free coding, which is unique because a lot of times coding comes with, like, you have to use an app or something like that. This one is completely screen-free. So you get a whole bunch of different things things in here. You'll get your rover. This is what you're going to be using to do your coding. Comes with an astronaut. You have the moon rock obstacle, a challenge flag, archways, bridge tiles, and an obstacle tile, and then blue tiles. Then it comes with 20 different coding cards, and this is what you're going to use to help you when coding. They have a little instruction book, and inside there's 20 different activities that you can try, or you can just play freehand and, and do whichever activities you want on your own. But this is a really good way to get started in, in coding because it presents you some challenges that you have to overcome using all of the pieces in the set. So all you do to set up is just follow the pictures inside your booklet and it'll give you a starting and ending point and your job is to program your rover using the buttons on the rover to get to the end. 
The great thing about this, you guys, I love that you can do the games that are already included in the challenge book, but you can also free play this and make up your own coding challenges and obstacles to try to overcome any coding challenges. In this set, you're learning facts about robotics and engineering and space travel. Definitely going to be using critical thinking and spatial concepts, lots of sequencing logic. So you're going to have to figure out how to do things in the correct order. And of course, collaboration and teamwork when you're working on this with other people. This one I definitely had my eye on because it's a critical thinking and a puzzle game. Building in 2D and 3D, it takes it really to the next level. If you've ever tried Canoodle, this one is one to try. You're gonna love it. It's called Canoodle Pyramid. This is Canoodle Pyramid. I have featured Canoodle on my channel before and it's been a big hit. You guys have said that you really do like it. This one I was really curious about because it's 2D and 3D. Recommended for ages seven and up and it's a 3D puzzle game. So you're gonna get one game board, nine game pieces, and then your booklet's gonna have 200 different puzzles in here. So you're not gonna get bored. We're really working on problem solving, critical thinking, logic, and reasoning here. I'm gonna take out all the game pieces, which I will probably regret. <laughs> because I'll have to put them back in there somehow. That's okay, we're gonna solve the puzzle to, to be able to do that. So we have 2D challenges first, and we just open the guide to the first puzzle to figure out where our pieces are gonna go. And so this is just using the flat piece here, setting it up so there's there's numbers in here. It's hard to see with my camera, but there's a one there. So that's how I know it goes on top. And I match all the pieces to this picture to set up the puzzle. So we're gonna do that by placing these on here. If you've been around a long time, then you definitely know that I love, love logic and critical thinking games. I think that there's, there's just so much benefit to it. All right, so there, I've set it up exactly like the picture. I have two extra pieces that I have to put in here to solve the puzzle. And of course, they always start off really easy at first. Ta-da, I'm good, right? <laughs> and they get progressively harder. And so let me see if I can maybe choose a more difficult one. Let's try, let's try one of these. You can play along with me as you watch. And you just set it up like the picture. Sometimes setting it up like the picture is half the challenge. Okay, so we got it set up and I've got these two pieces to fit in here. And I actually don't think that looks too hard for me to figure out. So then we have the 3D puzzle. So let's go on to those. And there's also numbers on this too to kind of guide you so you know how it goes. So the one is up here and there's numbers down in here. So now I have to set this up according to the picture. That's how it looks like from one side and then the other side. And then I have two remaining pieces to fit into the puzzle. Yeah, it slides right in. And then, no, 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 that's not right because it's sticking out. Everything has to be flush. Whoa, I did it. Check that out. So you're doing with 3D. Oh my gosh, how fun is that? Totally puts a new spin on things, you guys. I did it. That is really, really great. You have two levels of play with the 2D and the 3D, which makes it even more interesting and over 200 puzzles to do and a whole book full of puzzles that you can try and accomplish. This giveaway is amazing because one winner is going to win all of the prizes featured in this video. Before I give you any of the giveaway details, make sure you're subscribed. And then down in the comments, leave me a note telling me which one would be on your list for your kids. I love hearing your feedback, so this is very important. Then to officially enter to win, head over to the giveaway link that's in the description box. All of the details are there. You must be 18 years of age or older and have a US postal address. I'm gonna announce the winner right after Thanksgiving, so make sure you watch all of the other Purple Alphabet holiday gift guides so you can get some great ideas and come back right after Thanksgiving to see if you have won. You'll have 72 hours to claim your prize at that point. You guys, click subscribe to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up to show your love.